We've told you how this storm poses a risk to the power lines that can get covered in ice and cut off electricity to neighbors. And one of you reached out to us asking what to do if that happens and you need that electricity for medical equipment. KXN's Thahar Rahman found out that you can sign up to be on a list of people who are medically vulnerable. But she also find out, found out that what that means can be different depending on where exactly you live. Kathy Anderson relies primarily on this black box to survive. It continually cycles the oxygen. It has electricity, so um, if the lights go out, the electric goes out, that will shut off. There's no backup to it. She's only got a couple of portable tanks. I would die. <laughs> I mean, I can't breathe without it. Anderson lives in Georgetown. The city says you can get on their list of medically vulnerable customers by filling out this form with the Public Utility Commission of Texas. It doesn't guarantee you uninterrupted power, but can protect against some suspensions and disconnections, according to the PUC's website. The state of Texas also has a free registry where you or someone you know can sign up if you're medically vulnerable and will need help during an emergency. It's online. The state manages the database called STEER, but says it's up to cities and counties to decide how to utilize them. We're doing wellness checks to all our MBR customers, making sure the lights are on, everything is okay, and everything is going as planned for them. Austin Energy calls their list of roughly 300 vulnerable neighbors and will go door to door if necessary. We collaborate with all our other city departments um, and our counterparts to make sure that we can get people to a safe place. Williamson County is also part of STEER. We're still trying trying to figure out how it and the city of Georgetown follow up with their vulnerable residents. But Anderson plans to sign up for both of their lists. It doesn't seem like anybody has reached out to this community of people that have issues like this. Thahira Rahman, KXAN News. And you can find a list of all the cities and counties we've tracked so far that have a medically vulnerable list. Just go to KXAN.com to find that and to sign up. And as Tahara mentioned, they all say getting on the list does not guarantee you'll always have power. So call 911 if you do have an emergency.